Hey everyone, it's Roland, or as some of you know me, King Shinji. Today we're going to be talking about probably my all-time favorite vinyl, uh, and one of my favorite albums of all time in general. Uh, but this has definitely been a white whale for me in terms of vinyls for well over a year now. Um, this is I'll Try Living Like This by Dust Dynamic Shroud. I actually found this album a little over a year ago, just randomly listening to some music. Uh, one of the songs, specifically the second song off this album, which we'll take a look at the back here, uh, Loving Is Easy. I randomly stumbled upon that on my Spotify radio one day, uh, driving to work, it just kind of popped in, and I fell in love immediately. It was weird, it was jarring, it was bizarre, and it used a sample that I recognized that I didn't imagine anyone ever uh, trying to incorporate into a song like this. That sample specifically being Pon Pon Pon, uh, which you can look up on YouTube. I believe it is a Korean pop song. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. But this has uh, been one of my favorite albums. Uh, when I first discovered it, uh, I listened to it on repeat for a little over a month and a half. It became my uh, album I'd throw on on my drive to work. Um, absolutely fantastic. Just a great album. Every time I listen to it, there's always something new I discover because that's just how dense and musically uh, just intense this album is. There's just so much stuff going on. It is a Vaporwave, Plunderphonics, Experimental Electronic album uh, by Death Dynamic Shroud, who has quite the discography. Uh, they have put out a lot of stuff, and I'm really hoping to see the rest of their stuff press too on the 100% Electronica label, which they were recently signed to. Uh, all their stuff is really great. Uh, Definitely say this is one of my favorites of theirs alongside Heavy Black Heart, though. So really, really excited to have this on vinyl, finally. I actually first discovered their album, uh, and I was like, oh, I've got to get this on vinyl. I was like, let me see. I looked it up, and I saw that they had a 2015 pressing that was long sold out, and all the copies were going for uh, $100 plus, if not more. So that quickly stamped out my dreams of ever owning this on vinyl, because there was no way I was going to pay that much. But... Uh, I, you know, kept my ears peeled, you know, tried to look for a repressing, and then missed, to, missed the repressing when it happened in December of 2020. They did their Masterpiece Edition uh, repressing. I believe they pr put it out in three different variants, and I missed all of them, and it sold out before I even caught wind of it, and I was so upset. But what I have here is the Newberry Exclusive Edition that they put out recently, and I am super excited to have this, considering especially how limited edition this uh, copy is specifically. So it is also, if you look here, it is also the masterpiece edition of the album, uh, but it is a 1 of 275. Uh, and what makes this special is it actually does come with a little card autographed by the artists uh, that worked on this album. So super excited to have that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. This vinyl is going to be in a gatefold cover. Um, beautiful art as always. The you know the front art, in my opinion, incredibly iconic. Just a whole array of colors here. You got the reds, the greens, the blues. It just looks so great. And it's just great glitch art in general. Um, and it's just amazing. Uh, I believe it was James Webster who was primarily the one that kind of worked on the art direction for this album, and I think he did an absolutely phenomenal job with it. So you can see here a little bit of information. Uh, if I can get it to focus, come on. Produced by James Webster and Keith Rankin, and that's who it's uh, the card I have is signed by, I believe. Uh, but yeah, art and layout by James Webster, cover art by James Webster and Keith Rankin. So they both kind of work together, both on the sound and the design of this album. But let me go ahead and let's pull it out. It does come with a little booklet here. So we're going to flip this over. Um, this little booklet's just got some different art. I'm assuming it's just different, like, stuff they worked on while creating this album. Kind of the art artistic vision uh, for the visual side of things. So let's take a look here. A lot of it's outlined with uh, Korean text, and it's got some edit of art in the background. Looks like we have some anime here with looks like a galaxy kind of spread. Uh, we got someone eating some food here. Uh, keep going. This one's a double cover of looks like some stock photo. Uh, I'll have to go back. I actually have not gone and like translated to see what these mean. Uh, these words mean, so I, I should definitely do that at some point because I'm very intrigued to see what it says. But 
pretty interesting stuff and there you go 100% electronica that's the label they are currently with that's putting out their stuff so pretty awesome stuff so you got that little art booklet there pretty cool and let me go ahead and pull out this that's the vinyl and then in here as well I'm just gonna reach in and we have right here the signed card so that's the oh. Uh, anyways, uh, we've got the signed card right here. It looks pretty great. It's signed by both the members. So what? Uh, this is actually kind of a cool thing. I actually have a couple more of these cards. Uh, not all of them signed though. Uh, but 100% Electronica puts out these little kind of retro-looking trading cards with the uh, artists that are on their label. So it's pretty cool. We've got this one, which is signed by the members. So really awesome to have that. Just kind of a cool collectible piece there and super stoked considering this is one of my favorite albums of all time and i absolutely love that death dynamic shroud so let's go ahead and take a look here i'm actually going to put the camera down real quick so i can grab the vinyl out of its sleeve all right we're back and here we have the vinyl in the new world blue variant this was the exclusive variant for the newberry exclusive uh pressing of this Looks pretty cool. I like it. It's white uh, with a uh, blue kind of splatter look. Now, when they originally put out the represses in December of 2020, the Masterpiece Edition, I believe is the name of the variant, had this beautiful rainbow splatter. It was really cool. Um, kind of sad it didn't have that here, uh, but it's understandably so. Um, but I am still not unhappy with this color variation. And most importantly, I'm just happy to have this album on vinyl. If it was black, like just plain black vinyl, I would have been just as happy to be honest because just having this uh, on wax in the first place is pretty amazing. So there you have it. That is I'll Try Living Like This by Death's Dynamic Shroud. Easily one of my favorite albums of all time, like I said. Please give it a listen if you haven't. Uh, it is a challenging listen, I will be honest, <laughs> especially if you're not super into electronic uh, music and like experimental electronic music, um, but definitely, definitely give it a try, uh, see what you think, and then come back here and leave a comment letting me know how you felt about it, love it, hate it, feel eh about it, uh, I'd just be curious to see what your thoughts are on it. And uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really just interested in kind of sharing uh, my musical kind of taste and some of the vinyls I've collected as of recent uh, with everybody. So you can kind of get a, an idea of what it's like and maybe it'll inspire you to, to get some too. Uh, but anyway, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hey guys, one more thing before you go, just wanted to let you know that I will be including the links to both the Discog page for this vinyl that I reviewed alongside the label 100% Electronica's website where they're actually going to be putting out some of the Death Dynamic Shroud discography on vinyl. So definitely give that a check and uh, keep your eye out if you're interested in getting more of their stuff on vinyl. Uh, but thanks for watching again and I'll catch you guys in the next video.